If you may remember, Matthew Moore was arrested back in 2021 and charged with killing his wife, Emily Noble. She disappeared the previous year. Her body found months later in a wooded area near her home. Westerville police said she was murdered, but her death had been staged as a suicide. But a jury later found Matthew Moore not guilty. And tonight you will hear from Moore about his new life of freedom and his story in his own words in a story you'll only see here on 10 TV. Find the defendant Matthew L. Moore not guilty of murder. As he this is the last moment the Matthew indictment. Moore was in the public Dated eye. The moment he was exonerated on charges he murdered his wife, Emily Noble. Yeah, I thought I was going to get convicted. That's because when you're you're in that world when you're in jail for 15 months. It's just that's so negative. Everything's so negative. So, yeah, it was tough. It was clear that you were really overcome with emotion when the verdict was read. What was going through your mind? Nothing. You don't. You don't let things go through your mind when you're in that situation. I think you just. You're just numb. You're just sitting there. Things are. Everything's out of your control. So you just sit back and. Yeah, it was, it was uh, very emotional. Is there anything you can say with, uh, to us? A mistake. That roller coaster of emotions started more than a year earlier, back in 2021, when he was arrested and cuffed, telling reporters there had been a mistake. Did you kill your wife, Emily? No, I did not. I think most people know that. And if you don't, and if you're wondering, well, why would the, why would the Westville Police Department want to do this if you didn't? Read the book. It's there. That book is his book, his story, his version of what happened to his wife. It's called Emily, a staged suicide in Ohio. It's a digital self-published book that comes out on Monday. The, the people that are um, that think I'm guilty, there's nothing I'm going to say to change that. There, there's nothing I can do. But if you're on, you're on the fence. Uh, it'll help because there's a lot of stuff that they didn't they didn't know that, that the book will help them with. I hope her family reads it. Moore says the book will clear up many lies, including that he never helped to search for his wife or that the two were on the brink of divorce. You know that there is a large segment of the community that feels that you got away with murder. Mm -hmm. Right. How does it feel knowing that? Yeah, it's that's you know it's something you have to get used to, I guess. It's uh, it's not fun. Moore is adamant that the truth of his story is obvious: that his wife died by suicide and not by his hands. But as for why she would do that, he says that answer is less clear. I knew her. It's it's a complicated issue. Uh, if you if you ever have ever known anybody that's committed suicide, I mean, that story is. It's a complicated one. If you're close to someone who kills themselves, I've been there twice with my son and my wife. It's it's a very difficult situation to be in. Now, after losing his mother, son, wife, father, and freedom, all within a span of just a few years, he is focused on taking back the narrative and writing it in his own words. I guess if I was guilty, I would have just been like, whoa, wow and just go away. But it didn't feel right about just, and I, and I was advised to do that by a lot of people. They were like, you probably just want to get out of here and, uh, and, and keep quiet. But it didn't feel right. It didn't feel right to do that at all. Because of the way I was portrayed in the media, people's perception of me is just, is way off. So I, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to give my shot at getting my name back. And I felt like a book would be the best way to do it. Now, if you would like to hear more from Matthew Moore, you can find our extended conversation on 10TV.com.